Next, we visit with a charitable nonprofit organization that supports individuals with a rare, life threatening genetic disorder. The National Fabry Disease Foundation focuses on education to better recognize, understand, and manage Fabry disease and provides assistance and support to individuals with Fabry disease and their families. Joining us is Jerry Walter, founder and president of the NFDF. Jerry, welcome. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here today. To start, tell us a bit about Fabry disease. What do we know about this rare disorder and what are some symptoms? Fabry disease is caused by an enzyme deficiency that results in lipid accumulation throughout the body. It causes many symptoms that begin in childhood and progress with age, and additional life-threatening symptoms in adults. Although symptoms vary widely among individuals, some of the early symptoms include chronic pain, chronic GI distress, unexplained protein in the urine, a reduced ability to perspire, and intolerance to heat and strenuous activity. Later, adults often have premature hearing loss, kidney failure, heart attacks, and strokes. The average age of death of an untreated male is 50 years old and about 10 to 15 years later in females. There are also two telltale signs of Fabry disease that aid in diagnosis. Many people with Fabry disease have an opaque, whirl-like pattern in their eyes called cornea verticillata that can be seen by an eye doctor during a routine eye exam. Many people also have a skin rash of tiny dark red spots, usually around the bathing trunk area, called angiokeratoma. There are many signs and symptoms to help recognize Fabry disease. And what are treatment options like for those with Fabry disease? Unlike most of the approximately 7,000 known rare disorders, Fabry disease is among a small percentage with an approved treatment available. The prognosis for people with Fabry disease seems very promising if we can increase recognition and diagnosis of this treatable disease. Jerry, what's the best way our listeners can get involved? Increased physician, family, and public education is critically important, especially to the thousands of people unknowingly living with Fabry disease. With treatment available, children should not have to suffer a diminished quality of life, and adults should not have to die prematurely because of Fabry disease. We are seeking support to provide education programs to increase recognition and diagnosis, and to beat this disease. Please make a charitable contribution to the National Fabry Disease Foundation today at www.fabrydisease.org. We have the many tragedies of our past and great hope for our future. Thank you so much for your consideration to help people with Fabry disease live better and longer lives. Jerry, thank you. Learn more at fabrydisease.org.